All right, well, so those of you who may know, the Democrats were receiving some type of explosive packages in their homes. You have people like President Obama, um, you have um, Hillary Clinton, George Soros, which is not too surprising, and um, Eric Holder, and I believe Maxine Waters in California. Now, of course, this has been a battle between the Democrats and the Republicans. Um, the Republicans, uh, the Democrats were saying that ever since this been, you guys been in office, you guys been taking over during Trump's reign, we have been attacked. Even though that's really not all the way true, it's the whole system itself, but they have been attacked. And it's been all these political groups, you know, we already have Antifa, you know, that they're really, that's just like before for Vendetta, already wearing these masks and creating their own hate group. If you're a supporter of Trump or any type of political party, they're going to attack you. And so they trying to organize their own type of militia. And, you know, luckily no one hasn't been killed. But, you know, you got to think about it, too. Like, well, President Obama, even though he, you know, sort of people, like, you know, he bombed Syria. Uh, he did the Blue Alert Law. He did individuals, like, uh, just, you know, of course, promote, like, kind of homosexuality. He's just going against the, the guy's laws. And he was just lying and say he was a Christian and he was a Muslim. All kinds of stuff that was going on, man. Then you had the birthright, uh, saying that he wasn't even a, a citizen in the United States. How come he become president? Okay, then we have Hillary Clinton, who was known for, you know, of course, the Secretary of New York, um, State of New York. She was known for smuggling crack cocaine, just um, for the most part, just smuggling and, and just taking money away from the Haitians, forming a, a fake Haitian revolution or some type of, um, you know, medical relief when they had an earthquake. Uh, none of those people, those victims in that particular time received that money. Um, and too, she was a supporter of Margaret Sanger, who believes in Planned Parenthood, and Planned Parenthood has always had the agenda of the extermination of African American babies. So, I mean, she was just a liar. Then, of course, too, we had the whole email scandal, and George Soros, who was known for the leader of the Democratic Nationalist Group, and he funds the Black Lives Matter. Uh, it's always staged and you know most of these shootings and stuff that goes on in America worldwide are I'm not saying all of them are not true but most of them for the most part has an agenda behind it and he's atheist and I was actually reading uh, when I went to go see Death of a Nation earlier this year uh, it, it, it kind of explains on both sides of that man I'm lying saying he, was, uh, he wasn't Jewish and he wasn't for the Jewish people uh, supported the Holocaust, all the whole nine yards. And this is a thing that I'm not condoning violence, but people are getting sick and tired and they just want to, you know, put that message out there like, hey, you're not going to, you've been effing around with these Americans for the longest time. And, you know, it's just people just getting really angry and they just resort to violence. We already know the whole world is wicked. The world is going to always be wicked. The only thing we can do is just, you know, just make sure our souls are right and advocate peace within our households. And, you know, no politician, no one that's in leadership is going to advocate world peace. It's just, it's not, it's not going to ever happen. So it's going to be a continuously victimless uh, cycle. The prophecy of the Bible must have to always be fulfilled. So these are like, just like if you read Matthew 24, it goes in detail of like, you know, seasons are going to change. You know, we just had an earthquake in Indonesia. Over 354 people died. I mean, you have all these hurricanes, Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Harvey. I mean, people are in distress situations. And these are because these are the pains and the growing pains that in order for Jesus Christ to come back, the church is going to have to be right and get right and get their souls right and get their spirits right and make sure the people in the congregation is um, saved. And with this, I just feel like that, you know, we put at all of our attentions on our leaders and our politicians to do the best job they can do. But at the same time, this country is built on capitalism and it's never for the rights of others. I mean, you got to understand the civil rights, the civil war was uh, pretty much started in order to, uh, to put a war on indigenous uh, Americans, the Indians that was already here because they couldn't tax them. They were already here. So they tried to come up with all these laws and according to the Articles of Confederation, all these things, man. So it really wasn't, they lied to us. It wasn't really for the most part just just um the red coats going against the blue coats or whatever you want to say the confederates man so um at the end of the day man i mean people just waking up to the, all these illusions here and i think it's going to get really worse so of course the fbi is doing a little more investigation on this with these strange packages here um you know like i said i'm glad no one has gotten hurt but i think it's going to be a very political revolution that our country is not ready for i mean it's more of us than them and a lot of people believe that, yay, man, 
you know, if you continuously, continuously, you know, treat the Americans wrong, this is what you're going to get. Until you go to school, go to college, and then you, you, you go to college and you get something in debt, you get in like trillions, I'm not saying trillions, but you know, thousand dollars in debt, and then you're underemployed and you know, you're all depressed and they just say, well, get over it. I already got my college degree. Well, you just got to figure things out. And then, you know, you just, you just lose, losing out on life. And then compared to people that's making billions and millions of dollars, um, treating their war veterans wrong, you know, with no medical benefits. I mean, people that have served their country, I mean, you know, spend a $717 billion defense bill, that can really eliminate world hunger. That could, that money could have been used to help, you know, people, you know, go to school. They can help people, you know, um, start small businesses. I don't know, man, but we, we live into a society, like a lot of companies want to just keep their money and just pay employees peanuts. For the most part and you know it could be many elements and many reasons why you know they are have this ambition this drive to like hey you know this is a message we're gonna go out to the top people that's supporting this demonic system uh we call it in the justice department it could be anything man so um this is it's real scary we don't know who doing this um i doubt it people say it was the proud boys that's people from the far right political group but um, I don't know, man. Then you have Maxine Waters who's advocating like just violence to people who supports Donald Trump and Trump supporters. I mean, you have a teenager not too long ago. I mean, he was he had a drink thrown in his face because he had a MAGA hat on. I mean, in this country, is we're very divided, and um, it's it, it's wrong on so many levels. But we gotta address the issues on here and. I just think that, you know, at the end of the day, people know that, you know, they're trying to start like a little war going on with China and all these in Russia and all these world countries to start a World War Three. And, you know, it's going to pronounce martial law. And then what are we going to do as, as citizens? We continue to pay taxpayers money and, you know, you're giving us these fake news on CNN. And so people are just fed up. So I think this probably pretty much really was one of the main reasons why they probably get these packages so it's a huge message that's going on but i will continue to do my more research on this that's how i pretty much i really think about this though but you know you guys tell me what you think it's a very suspicious um it's a scary man it's pretty much a scary political revolution that's going to be going on pretty soon though but it's all my take on that man you guys continue to like comment subscribe i'm out